All right, I have something a little different uh, to share uh, today. Uh, it was sort of a playing around thing that I did. Um, I call this the uh, Mini Lightning Maker, and it was inspired by Cooler's work over at the Energetic Forum on the big jewel thief thread. And what he did was he took uh, the Gina light circuit that has the big toroid. You've seen it in my other videos. And he came out of uh, Gina's light circuit uh, with a bridge rectifier and went through a, a different circuit that I'm showing here uh, in a pulse to pulse an ignition coil to make high voltage coming out here. Well, I replicated the circuit he had, but didn't have quite the right part, so I had to send away for him. But in the meantime, I researched another way to do it that was very, very simple and uh, it does work. Um, you come out of the high voltage of the Gina light circuit into a bridge rectifier and just put a little spark gap there. And uh, there's enough voltage coming out of Gina's light circuit to jump that gap. And if you use a car ignition uh, capacitor and a car ignition coil, you'll get the big spark pulse out here. And uh, I've been fascinated with Cooler's uh, circuits because he takes very small voltages, very low amperages, like Gina does, and bumps them, bumps them, bumps them, bumps them, bumps them to get very high pulsed voltage out here. Very high voltage pulses out here. So I replicated uh, a bunch of different things that I found and came up with this. This is the system right here. Um, it's Gina's light over here, and it's just Gina's light with the bulb disconnected. and. Uh, I just came out of the big toroid high voltage end out to the uh, bridge rectifier here and then over to my little spark gap system and that thing right there is from another project it's actually from uh, another high voltage project and it's a spark gap and if you get this spark gap just right it'll pulse that car ignition coil right there and produce a pulsed high voltage spark right across there and I'm using a xenon flash bulb out of a disposable flash camera and then a spark gap to show you this thing jump that is many 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 thousands of volts coming out of one double a 1.5 volt battery that's all it is uh, 1.5 volt double a battery and I'm gonna bump that up to many 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 thousands of volts right there and jump that spark gap uh, very similar to a Tesla coil circuit, I've decided, but uh, very interesting to play with, <laughs> as long as you're careful. And that's my mini lightning maker right there. And I don't know how many thousand volts that is, but that's a chunk, folks. That's a lot of voltage to jump that air gap there. It'll jump well over an inch. And um, the speed of the spark is determined by the gap of that little spark right there. So it comes out of Gina's light circuit, goes into this uh, capacitor little spark circuit, goes into that big coil right there, and the voltage gets bumped way, way, way on up. And uh, I just found that very interesting to uh, take 1.5 volts and turn it into thousands of volts. And there it is. Just be careful if you do this. That will shock you silly. There's not much amperage to it, but it's very high voltage, and it will send you for a ride across the carpet. So be really careful if you build one of these things. And uh, for the young folks or anyone new to this, this isn't going to make any sense at all unless you build Gina's light circuit first. So start there before you go here. Uh, this won't work without that first circuit. Anyway, that's what I got for today, my little uh, mini lightning maker. Thanks for watching.